Hello and welcome to How to Play Fishbowl, presented by GatherTogetherGames.com. This video will cover how to play the parlor game Fishbowl. The video will start with the general concepts and gameplay, and then get into more of the details for the game. The game is played with six or more players. To play, you will need three small pieces of paper per player, pens, a bowl, and a timer. Before the game begins, each player will come up with three words or phrases and write them on separate pieces of paper. Once all the players have finished, fold the slips of paper in half and put them into the bowl. All players are then split into two teams. The object of the game is to correctly guess as many of the words or phrases when it is your team's turn. The words or phrases are presented in three different gameplay styles, one style per round. Teams will alternate having one player from their team drawing from the bowl. The player will try to get his team to guess the phrase on the paper drawn. Once the team correctly guesses the phrase, a new phrase is drawn from the bowl. Each player's turn is 60 seconds. The way the player gives the clues to his team depends on the round. In the first round, players will give clues by describing the word or phrase. For example, if Batman is drawn, the player could say, Comic book superhero, the dark knight, sidekick is Robin. The player is not allowed to say any part of the word or phrase and cannot say sounds like or rhymes with. After the 60 seconds is up, the current phrase the player has is returned to the bowl. The team will score a point for each phrase correctly guessed. Team 2 then sends a player up for a 60 second turn. Teams go back and forth until all phrases from the bowl have been correctly guessed. Team 2 is up with 3 clues left. Once they correctly guess the last clue, the timer is stopped. Team 2 will note that they have 3 points for the 3 clues, and all the clues are put back into the bowl and mixed up. The same player that ended round 1 will begin round 2 with the remaining time left from the turn. In the second round, players will give only a one-word clue. It is important to remember all the phrases from round 1 because they are all seen again in round 2. The timer begins again, and the player from team 2 draws a phrase. The player gives a one-word clue, and that word is the only word that can be given. Again. Teams take 60 second turns and add up their points after each turn. Once the last phrase from the bowl is correctly guessed, the timer is stopped to end round 2. All the clues are put back into the bowl. The same player that ended round 2 will begin round 3 with the remaining time left from the turn. In the third round, players will act out the phrase in order to get their team to guess correctly. The timer begins again and the player draws a phrase and acts it out. Teams take turns until all phrases are correctly guessed. After each player's turn, the team gets one point for each correctly guessed clue. When a player goes between two rounds, be sure to note the points before returning all the phrases to the bowl. The team with the most points at the end of round three wins the game. When it is Team 1's turn, only Team 1 guesses, and when it is Team 2's turn, only Team 2 guesses. The game is played with no passes allowed or, if agreed upon, one pass per turn. If playing with a pass, a player can pass on a phrase by returning it to the bowl and drawing a new phrase. A player's turn ends immediately if the clue given to the team does not follow the guidelines for the round. In round 1, if any part of the word or phrase is given as a clue, the turn is over. In round 2, if more than one word is given as a clue, the turn is over. In round 3, if sounds or words are used while acting out a clue, the turn is over. This wraps up How to Play Fishbowl. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and get more game tutorials by subscribing to our channel, Gather Together Games. Thanks for watching.